After the Warriors game in Chicago, the team took a bus ride to Milwaukee for a back-to-back game in the hometown of forward Carl Landry, who from the moment he arrived was greeted by friends and fans. This is where it all started. You know, I get a chance to see uh, some of my friends, uh, family members, and those who were with me, you know, in the beginning. So uh, it's always a good feeling to see those who are closest to you. As one of the Warriors' key off-season acquisitions, Landry's veteran presence has been tremendous. As for his thoughts on what's behind the team's success? I just think the chemistry, you know, uh, that's something that a coach can't teach. Uh, guys were here early in the summertime working on their game, and I think that helped us in the beginning of the season, got us off to a good start uh, as far as, you know, chemistry and playing together. Me, you know, as well as Jerry Jack, we played together for the last two years in New Orleans, so we kind of understand each other's game. Tough, uh, every possession, we're going to go out there and battle hard. I know he's going to play 110% every time he steps out there on the floor, and uh, he definitely was a good, uh, you know, acquisition to this team, and uh, hopefully we can continue to, to, to play well and have success. And the success is certainly in line with the Warriors' dramatic improvement on the boards. We all knew coming into this season that, you know, the Warriors were a bad rebounding team last year. And uh, that's one area that we wanted to improve on. Um, every day in practice, we're doing some type of re rebounding drill, box out drill. Uh, the coaches are, are constantly reminding the guards as well as the, the bigs to rebound. And that's something that we have to do to win games. Being back in Carl's hometown, the Warriors Hotel here in Milwaukee is one of the best in the NBA, a true landmark with a lot of history and many stories. Since 1893, the Pfister Hotel in downtown has welcomed guests from around the world, and in recent years, players on visiting pro sports teams have claimed to have experienced paranormal activity. Some reports have Major League Baseball players who've stayed here claiming it's haunted, but there's usually always some other explanation to this sort of thing. Sometimes you hear this place is haunted. I mean, do you believe that? No. That's just Baysmore. With the Warriors in Milwaukee, I'm Lawrence Scott. <laughs>